Someone once told me that the true measure of friendship isn't how you feel about someone else. It's about how they make you feel about yourself and I can honestly say that I've never had friends that have made me feel the way you all have. Happy, welcome and as if you're my family. I mean look around, we've all grown up together as a family and what a privilege it's been to have experienced all these years with you. Two years ago I made a video for the end of our year 11. Now, Sam and I have made a Libras video for all of us here in year 13. Yeah, I'd just like to thank you for all your support. I know it's scary when someone sticks a camera in your face without warning you. <laughs> this will be the last time that we're all sitting here together as that one big family. Hope you enjoyed the video. What are your fondest memories of our year group? There are a lot of them, to be honest. Fondest memories, stories. Um. Fond? Yeah. Or like with affection? I would have to say, we've got quite a few about Toyin, mainly from Iceland, when he was running down the mountainside and got likened to a gazelle. Um, but also when he spent apparently £16 on a watermelon. £16? Yeah, it didn't really quite do the conversions, right, I don't think. It's not so much there's any kind of one or two things that stand out. It's really the course of the last seven years. It's seeing all of you grow up. It's, it's seeing, seeing you develop. A few funny memories um, of your year group. Um, oh, do, 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 fond memories of uh, fond memories of Brian O'Connor uh, constantly slagging off the Irish economy and Ireland in general. Um, I've got a fond memory of Conor Powell and his arrogance. Um, I remember. Um, just before his French or French oral or French listening. The Canada tour and then sort of the rugby season as a whole this season. Dirty Dave Gordon. Um, <laughs> Filthy. Dirty Dave! Dirty Dave! Dirty Dave! <laughs> <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Filthy. Filthy Dave. Oh, just Dirty for his, Dave. Uh, his performance with oh, ladies in Canada. What uh, a legend. Dirty Dave. What a legend. legend. Love the, the stories that he can tell his grandchildren. I think, uh, really I think one of the girls had pink hair. I think so, yeah. Pink hair and one eye. When we sort of got to year 10 and 11, um, we had a football group going with people who really wanted to take it seriously. And uh, as sad as it is, I used to really, really look forward to Wednesday afternoons. Yeah, uh, I knew it was, they were great. And, I, and it was like a high level of competitiveness, a high level of skill. Um, you know, it really mattered. And, and sort of everyone came on and improved. And, you know, I really look forward to getting out there on a Wednesday. And, and you know, it's far and away the best game trip I've ever had a privilege to be in. Let slipped my form that I was going to the docks with a birthday, for a friend's birthday. And they all said, well, I'm, we're going we're gonna to come. And I was like, we're going to come. One night in January, the 31st in fact, we went out for a night out, down the dog track in Wimbledon, a few wagers, a few beers, and there we saw in the distance Mr. Wilson. <coughs> that was a little bit awkward. A uh, fairly tall, <coughs> skinny chap, wandering around, fairly <coughs> slaughtered. <coughs> Must have had a bit too much to drink. <coughs> but I was quite steady on my feet. I hope. Well, at first we noticed it was in the security area. We weren't allowed in there. <laughs> so, the way we got in, we asked Leo to go up to the security guard and say his, da his dad's in there. <laughs> and there was Leopold behind me. And he had managed to tell the security guard that he was my son. And that's how we got into the area. What a great night. Chap of the week was always a lot of fun. We had a theme tune. Um, a theme tune? Which I can sing. I'd love you to sing it. It went like this. Chap of the week, chap of the week, chap of the week, chap of the week. And we always used to sing it. Will Haggis was especially into it, actually. I took over, I think, a football team in maybe year 10. And uh, I really, really loved that team. Um, it's brought me a, an awful lot of fond memories and some very sad ones as well. The idea of the Black Four was a new one on me, where you guys ultimately embrace that. They were almost undefeatable. Who, who were the Black Four? Uh, Black Four, to my knowledge, you've got TJ, Don, yeah. uh, Moffe, and, uh, and, and Toyin mm -hmm. at times in there. Moffe, you've got to call your name and not just my ball. Miss Russell <laughs> was our supply teacher in it, and um, you know, she didn't really like us that much, really like her. Yeah. And so we thought, and she was leaving on April Fool's Day, it was too good not, not, not to do. Open up one of the big windows in history, yeah? <laughs> then we got Jason basically to lie outside on the floor. Uh, on the grass. Yeah, on the grass, like near the history block. And basically we put like, was it a bit of ketchup? I think we put a bit of ketchup under his ketchup, mouth, yeah. yeah. I kind of dolphin dive to the floor. <laughs> Face down, you know, 
and there's been loads of stories I have to catch up with myself, that's bollocks, I'll just lay down on the floor. And Miss Ross came back from assembly and everyone sat down in their places, deadly silent, which obviously for 11T was unheard of. And then everyone is just like with their heads down and she's like, what's going on? Everyone looks at the window, which is wide open. So we're like, oh, Miss, just look outside of the window. So she looks outside and sees Jason sprawled, limbs it at unnatural angles. And then she literally flips. <laughs> she just swore. <laughs> and then just swore. And ran panic, downstairs. Panic. Yeah, she panic, went white. Went yeah. white. Ran, ran downstairs. downstairs. Obviously, Miss Ross was very, very disturbed. And then we were just shouting at April, April Fools. Fools. And then, yeah. oh, and then she never April. came back. She came back, yeah, stopped a week later. That was the end of us. Wow. A story of how I collectively take my own death. The game with the bottle. What game was that? It's a game, a bottle and a, a bin. Liam stepped up. I have a tiger playing. <laughs> it went in. The crowd goes wild. Absolutely unbelievable. Definitely overheard too many uh, tales of romances. Started with started what? Dave, Dave and Florence, Florence. Yeah, the, Dave the, and Flo. the big power couple yeah. until they broke up. It was obviously Paul and Lucy that kind of went down the pan as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Who else? Um, another power couple. I think we have to give it to our man himself, Sam. Oh, Samwise Sam Diamond, yeah, Sam Diamond of Fleur. Who else you got? You had Luke and uh, Estelle, that also went down the pan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Liam, oh, and, Liam Kay, and Katie. Still going strong. Still going yeah, strong. That's, a, uh, that's a very strong relationship. Oh, uh, yeah, the love triangle at the beginning of uh, oh, and then the six. What, the so, love triangle? Love triangle, uh, Selby, oh. Rachel, and Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, how can we forget that? Selby uh, announced recently that he thought Ryan was a sideman. <laughs> I think that's something that's been boiling up there for quite a long time and he uh, <laughs> finally let it out. <laughs> Selby, got any words? <laughs> hmm? I did obviously catch Jabaili with a bottle of vodka at the Year 7 disco, yeah. which he shouldn't have been having. Yeah, <laughs> um, I would come in every morning uh, in the run-up to summer exams and I'd find um, Moffy, Demi and TJ in my classroom already there by the time I got to school. He must have been in as soon as the sun came up, just in there revising away. I, I seem to remember lots of lines from uh, Johnny Mad Dog being, uh, <laughs> being shouted out in what was then the Year 7 playground. Rag Week was a real, really amazing uh, event yeah, and I think the amount of money you raised was great and that shows what a generous year group you are. They could see if I remember when they told me I wouldn't be famous and my dream in reality is simultaneous. To the top pedestal they can take you off. When will you got Fade away to Amarillo Every I go who waits for me. We ran for the bus and we missed it. It's on. Uh, run for the bus and you miss it. You get, you get and you're oh, you're drunk. Oh, team You know what he's on. I'm spraying. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, he went in. 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 Oh, what's in your hood, Ali? Ali, what's in your hood? There's nothing in my hood. The finger is on it. You oh, Jesse's boy! Oh, Haram boy! No, go, look at him. You should go back to Math Twice and put that back. You should take that back to Chef. Hey, TJ, you you say, say you've got no fans. I've got no fans! <laughs> <laughs> I've got no fans! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
when when we got new table tennis tables, obviously there, there was a lot of hype about them, and Will used to be quite good. And then one time, I think we was in the car with Will's mum, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we found out why it was. So yeah, good. and what happened? Uh, Will's mum just confirmed to us that Will used to get into school early to play table tennis. <laughs> she used to. <laughs> drop <laughs> he'd asked her. He'd asked her to drop him off early to get to school to practice table tennis. <laughs> so from year nine to eleven, it was sort of d bag mania. We just always, you know, try to d bag each other for some strange reason. And for all, for all those who don't know, it's when you sort of pull your pants down, pull someone else's pants down, <laughs> you know. Um, so you just <laughs> sort of just left their, their trousers at their ankles. And so, <laughs> and so one day, like, obviously, you know, no one's safe, you know, at all times. And this one day, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I know, um, I've been hearing all these things, saying like, uh, that Moffe D-bagged uh, Mo Ali. So it's break time, I come into the forum, <laughs> and you just see Moffe with a black eye. <laughs> Because <laughs> it turns out Morphe's D bag was so good, he got both the underwear and the trousers. <laughs> and so you just see him there, just sort of glum. <laughs> and you know, he learned his lesson to never do it again. <laughs> Sandra thought that croutons was a science term. <laughs> she didn't know <laughs> what they do. <laughs> Going, well, not every week. I would say, I would say that. <laughs> but Beyonce Society, yeah, B Sock, the girls at lunchtime yes. were the best. Move your body. <laughs> <laughs> such a great name. She can't be like him. Cool boss. How's Nishma doing? Oh, you know that, yeah? That girl, yeah? She was, she was asking me out, innit? So I turned it down. Because man's too piff. We found out that TJ was working at his dad's fish factory in Nigeria <laughs> for his work experience <laughs> and that TJ will, TJ will confirm that no no he's lying what, is that not true is that not true does your dad own a fish factory in Nigeria listen no that's besides the point Alex was such a drawing individual uh, that Will decided that he was just gonna stand up and uh, David Hay, Alex, right in the side of the head, and uh, sucker punch, so that his ear Just like a became twice so the my size. My ear was black for a week. Yeah. Picture a cabbage, a black and, uh, cabbage. Yeah, it was really funny because no one was on your side. <laughs> Last year, when we had the uh, the star football game between our staff and John Fisher staff, so we'd been hurling chants at the John Fisher boys throughout the front of the match, like you got all the BTEX, BTEX sport, etc. Make fun of them. Then when we when when we came out, we saw all of them. We started chanting at them, and they saw me, Kishan, Kasim, and Mo and Mo Ali with all the white boys. So they were like, "Oh, pack." And then Tom Harrington, and this is Tom Harrington. He's just who's a UKIP guy. He goes. In front of us, he stands in between them and us, like, and that that, that was quite good because it showed the it showed the unity that we've that we've put, grown together as a school. There's a chat with like Gamu, like Rachel, Falx, Rahi, like bare people. Oh. <laughs> and the girls come back, and um, I don't know how they got to talking about girls in our year. And um, Falx was like, "Yeah, but I want Jay and the girls in our year." Eat. Anyway, Rahi's like, "Yeah, they're all biased." Can we screenshot this, put this in the WCGS girls chat with like all of us? <laughs> oh my god! Right. Guys, a snake, fast as snake. Oh. And then Rachel put it up with Cammy was the one that snakes in the first place. Cammy's a snake. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> like the next week, no one was talking to Fox, so alright. Oh, it's so funny. Well, I have one personal favourite memory, uh, which has to be Kieran Boralia and his uh, attempt at being the saviour of nature. When the bird flew into the French classroom and hid behind the radiator and Kieran in all of his elegance picked it up and uh, symbolically passed it out the window and the bird just went <laughs> into the floor two stories down and died. Demi forever losing his bag literally every <laughs> single day. And having food like everywhere. Yes, under his tie. Under, under his, his tie. tie. I don't How? Know. How you get food there. One of my fondest memories is of Joe. He um, used to be quite unpopular, didn't have many friends until he decided to make the full-time commitment to being a lad. He quit football, quit his hobbies, spent less time with the family to invest as much time as possible into drinking and pulling. 
Uh, he's now one of the biggest lads in the year. I thought Mr Wilson would have some trouble with us as a form because we're all quite rowdy in Ruskin. Um, but he has surprisingly made it through to the end of this year. I think I like it. If we just imagine, let's say, that there's a blender and I can put certain things about people in a blender and it's like whisked. I would put, I would put uh, Alex Aerosmith's prehistoric grandma phone into that blender. I really come to, really come to like him. There are certain times when I'd want to put a little bit of Alex Aerosmith into that blender as well. I love Mr. Wilson. For fashion talent, when we're doing our superheroes uh, theme for fashion, um, we all got called out yeah. and Leslie didn't. Um, so he missed his cue. And then they all came running, running back in, everyone was pumped. And then everyone was like, Leslie was like, shit, what's happening? Yeah, he was wearing his um, Green Lantern suit. And I remember the last thing he said before he ran out was, I didn't buy this suit for nothing. <laughs> and he ran right out of the, the uh, right onto the stage. And like, he ran out after everyone else. They had to announce him while he was running out. And he just backed up and did his Green Lantern thing while he was walking back into the stage, back into the curtains. It was the funniest thing ever. A uh, great memory of uh, sixth form was bumping into Mr. Davies at uh, O'Neill's in Sutton. Fairly recently, he was out for a drink on a Friday night in O'Neill's in Sutton, and uh, I happened to come across uh, Oliver Tui, uh, Max Heath, Darry, and Alex Arrowsmith. Uh, Max was devastated because he wasn't quite 18 yet and hadn't been let into revolution. I think Fenners had abandoned them and gone chasing a piece of skirt. Darius got a bit emotional told me what he thought about me, which was nice. But I hadn't seen Ollie Fatui. So I went to the bar and uh, I got a drink and I caught outside of my, at the front of the pub, Ollie Fatui. So I thought, oh, I'll go and say hello. Walked over, there it is, Ollie Fatui. Uh, a little bit worse for wear, chatting up the oldest woman in the pub. The thing to remember about Gensok is that you don't talk about Gensok. So, <laughs> and first rule, always protect your kidneys. Protect <laughs> your kidneys. Not quite right, uh, yeah, it, it was a successful society. Until they uh, tried to shut us until down. They tried to shut us they down. They didn't shut us down. So we had to run an undercover society. Gensock was all in the secrecy. Blacked out windows, locked doors, toying on the door, the time, watching out for teachers. We felt it was a hundred percent benefit to the school. Oh, I can't believe it was only two. Got to do no, it was like four, 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 four sessions. Four sessions. Four sessions. Four. We should do a last little blowout this Wednesday. But I, I think overall it was a success, success yeah. and uh, we'll be looking to have another one just before the end of the uh, term. Uh, one time, <laughs> Oldfield told us to tell him what we all thought love was. Andre <laughs> said to him, a swinging 18-inch willy. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh. Lots of geography trips, toy and eating a spider on one of them. That was good. Let's do it! Let's do it! Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Ishmael was in our room for the job and he just come come back off licking the heart. So uh, we didn't know what was nobody knew what was wrong with him. And he thought he thought he was okay, but he clearly wasn't. He had constipation. He was going to the toilet every ten minutes and staying there for like an hour. All that happened was that I I saw that what they said was mean to the girls, so I wanted them to know what people had said about them. But that was in the best interest of WCGS girls, you know. That that, that was with your interests at heart. I don't know why you're snaking me at the end of the day after what they say is true. Gams. So you're not a snake, Gammy? No, I'm not a snake. Gammy is the most kind-hearted snake. I'm not a snake. Joe, sum up your WCGS experience in one word. Um, I'd say smiley. Emotional. Schweffy. It's been interesting. Friendly. I'm getting it. Worthwhile. Captivating. <laughs> Eye opening. Vibrant. Mental. Gains. Sean Lewis. Fantastic. Top. Scandalous. Year 11. So good year, I mean, good two year. Change. Family. Memories. Peculiar. It's been a laugh. It's been alive. 11G, Marla. Build on Zorman because I've, I've grown a lot as a person all my time here. Memorable. It's been great. Corrupt. Buzzing. Swag. Intense. Piano. <laughs> Banter. Unjust. Enriching. Funny. Community. Bias. Babes. Pollution. It's been a madness. Ellie? Yeah, yeah 
it's been pretty sweet. My luck. Topsy turvy to say the least. A roller coaster. Mad. Antics. Polycracy. Decent. Magic. Classics. Friends <laughs> zone. Nice. Andre Nicholas Gudulas. Eventful. Home. Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> Go Ghana. Get a banana. Hey! Yeah, two days, every day. Oh. Don't know for Fana. <laughs> 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 Look at the thing. I'm cut f***ing This is how they get girls in Africa. <laughs>
love and why? Ollie Selby. <laughs> Got anything to say to him? Uh, Ollie Selby, now, since we've met, like, right at the start, um, I think we clicked, I think we bonded. Um, we sort of, we haven't quite got to the stage where we meet up outside of school, but I'm pretty sure I, we can do that, so that's not a problem, so we'll keep, keep in touch, yeah. I think there are some genuinely very, very, very nice people. Oh. Ribbo. Oh. Lovely bloke. Absolutely. Ludlam. In fact, Glorious. I would go so far as to say the vast majority uh, of the classics. Harrison guys. Cole. Oh. An absolute statesman, isn't he? Statesman. Amazing. Connor Powell. Well, I don't, well. Um, I, I have a particular soft spot for Mr. Harrington um, because we've spent a lot of time together. I even got to enjoy a bit of my honeymoon with Tom Harrington, which really? was really special. Mrs. Owen apologises that she couldn't be here today, but she gave me an email to read out to you guys. There have been so many students who have been amazing, made me smile, been a pleasure to teach, contributed so much to their school. But here is a flavour of a few memories that stand out for me. Matt Tully, entertainment in the playground with his juggling and various other circus acts. Ollie Pucky, guitar playing wow. Tom Harrington, you broke mine and Miss Toby's heart with that beard. Junior, what a turnaround from GCSE. I'm proud of you. Demi, what a gentleman, always there to help. Donovan Haynes, should be here, a true Wally boy at heart. Joe Bashir, a very well-dressed young man. I wish every sixth form boy would dress as well as Joe. Brian, absolutely awesome student, fantastic. He is junior, will know better than any of us how he used to be compared with where he's at now. Um, I think the girls have been a massive, they massive have, addition as well. Awesome. I mean, you know, Tyrion, Dyer Jones, part of the reason why Ripton's such a fantastic mess chap, with I imagine. Her, ever. It's always quite nice for a teacher to see that the established order that you have in uh, in year 12 where you've been through seven eight nine you know who all the really bright kids are and they know who they are and they enjoy that status then these girls come in females come in and they are super intelligent and all of a sudden these people have to up their game again and almost a one-upmanship to sort of uh, get up with these girls so they have a fantastic impact on the school and um, they absolutely uh, the sit form is a much better place because they are here Harrington, Emily, Mitre, oh Emily. Yeah. I mean, we are, they're all classicists, which yeah. anyway. So anyone in our classics yeah. class, basically. Yeah. Alex Davison drives me insane, but I also, like, I find him very, his kind of complete... Com craziness. Yeah, his yeah. craziness, <laughs> his inability to do anything in, in a straightforward or logical manner. <laughs> well, I still, I still smile to myself every time I walk past the Ace of Spades' uh, poem on the wall about the galaxy. <laughs> Joe Bashir because of his misguided passion for chemistry. Uh, Max Heath because he thinks DT is actually a subject. Um, I'm going to have to mention uh, Luke, Mia Wilson, uh, the nicest man ever uh, to uh, support UKIP. There's no question about that. You're too good for them, Luke, but you know, I'm not going to be able to convince you to come back over from the dark side yet. I've enjoyed kind of, you know, discussions probably on a, a daily basis with Lloyd Jones about how to not dress as a used car salesman <laughs> um, and Tom Harrington about how to actually grow a, a beard um, successfully. It isn't ratty and ginger. Oh, it's... <laughs> Jacob Baxter's singing voice is going to potential. I think probably the person who's made me smile the most, he's got the biggest smile of all, is, uh, is Moffe, um, or as TJ might call him, Moffe! Andy Burns, Mr Chill, nothing can ever make his blood pressure raise, he's that laid back. Loved listening to his piano playing. Charlie Suss, everybody loves Charlie, an all round lovely guy. Azaz, one of those students who always makes others smile, a credit to his family for bringing up a true gentleman. Kerry, what a lady. Tom McMorrow, skateboarding into school each morning through the playground, even though he was told to carry it and walk, but he never did. What a turnaround in two years. Be proud of this, Tom. I have to say, I do love my uh, Year 13 philosophers. They're a fantastic class. I, I was very pleased when McMorrow got back in. But what's McMorrow's problem? I mean, he's a decent, decent guy, but he's going he's gonna to do something big. I just can't tell if it's going to be good or bad. I quite like... Tom Corrigan's kind of mm. diversity and range of abilities. And thin. Yeah, I mean, you know, mad physicist on the one hand, who knew that he's a kind of street rapper. Paul, TJ, 
Ricky D, all the leaders in the rugby team as well, who've just been phenomenal. Haggis as well. Oh, forgot Haggis. Hag dog. Yeah. Yately. Why? Because he hates philosophy, which is the correct attitude probably, just don't get sucked in in the first place. I'd say one of my standouts is probably Ray. Um, no one knows what he's reading, <laughs> ever, <laughs> but that's all he ever does. He, he's a reader. He likes to read uh, sort of Chinese on his phone. Um, He's very good at that. I want to give a shout out to all of the female students in, in my government politics class. Not easy coming in to a boys school uh, in a sixth form. Not easy coming into a class that contains the likes of Tom Harrington. Tom, some of your WCS experience. Dictatorship. Feminist dictatorship. <laughs> Alex Arrowsmith. I didn't think anybody could be more stubborn than me. Then I met Alex and boy did he test my patience over the years. However, I will miss our chats. Luke Mia Wilson, Smiler, is he ever sad or angry? Angel and Co. I just love being in my office with the door open, listening to Angel and Co. singing in the assembly hall. She really does have the voice of an angel. James Alexander, amazing determination, a true example of the core values of WCGS. Will Haggis, Lloyd and Andy Burns, taunting the seagulls in the playground at break and lunch. Vinoff, did we ever crack the lakes? And her last message was, best wishes to you all. Thank you for all you have done for WCGS. Um, what two students would you like to see in a fight and who would you put your money on? I didn't go for two students. I went for me versus Teague and I put my money on me. Mm. I'd like to see Andre in a fight with... Um, who can I, I'm trying to think of someone that could do some serious damage here. I think I'd have to say Joe O'Donoghue. He's, he's got a steel to him. James Bedford and Joseph Bash. I think we should see you two in a fight. Me and Sam? Yeah. Who'd, who'd you, you put your money on? Who'd you put your money on? <laughs> um... Movies Joe, you alright, mate? No. Oh, I put a loving life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get all good. No. <laughs> Hello. Say hello to the vlog people. Hello. Hello. This is Kishan, my babe. What's up? Don't hide behind me. You're eating chicken and you want to be in the vlog. Oh. Yeah, that's all there. I can't go for a teacher. This is how I dance the pato. <laughs>
remember Mr. Oldfield made that made some song. I think it was titled Dedication. Quite a good track that was. Yeah. Yeah, dedication. Since the incident, I'm not allowed to teach that to the kids anymore. But you were there, right? You were there! Oh, I suppose I'm the voice from the grave, having not worked at Wallington for 12 months by the time you're watching and listening to this. But I have got very fond memories of the year group. I remember teaching you in year seven, drama. My one regret is that I didn't spend more time teaching more of you, particularly in Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. Because the one thing I will take away as a memory of you guys is the fact that you taught me so much. You taught me how to be a good teacher. Thank you. I felt very fortunate to actually be in school during Activities Week and a part of that in the Science Conference and enjoying your intelligence. Hi guys, I'm back. Um... Just wanted to say that you guys were a fantastic year group. I remember when you were in year 10 when I arrived, um, I thought you were such a group of gentlemen. Um, and then I got to know you a bit better and I learned otherwise. You, um, you've you always astounded me whenever I've taught you with your enthusiasm and your love for the subject. Um, and I'm sure that will carry on into your university life. So all the best of luck with everything. Um, good luck at uni, whatever you do next. Um, see you soon. How old do you think we're going to do on our exams? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't care. <laughs> no idea. Not very well. No, no, you will do all right. You will do all right. You'll be a fair Yeah, I think you'll do well. Yeah. I think you've always come through. Ultimately, as a year group, you've got the, the, the self belief you need, but you're not arrogant. You're going to smash it. I think brilliantly. I remember when you started, Dr. Howard, if you remember him. Just about. He, him announced it to the whole of the staff that you were the most talented cohort that we've ever had based on your 11 plus results. So no pressure, but I think we'll do brilliantly. I think you're going to be amazing in English because we're going to get a much better mm -hmm. examiner this year who isn't an evil idiot. If you do stumble, say for example, you might fail, you might not get the grades exactly that you want, then there's always another opportunity for you to try. I'm a big believer in persistence. I'm genuinely looking forward to results day and, and seeing that come through. Um, you know, people will get to terrific universities and they're going to go on to carve out like tremendous careers for themselves. I really, really have never been more confident about a year group and how well they're going to do. Any advice for us in the future? If I could give you one piece of advice, yes. Question everything. Everything. Yes, question everything. Okay. Bring food on the first day to university. I bought a giant chocolate cake and I could not get rid of anybody. Make sure that you always hold the colours of the school and the experience you had close to your heart. Do what you enjoy and do what you love, basically. If you do what you love, then you won't mind working hard at it. It's all very well being wealthy and prosperous, but if you're not happy, there's no point. So just make sure you enjoy yourself as much as possible. But... Keep reading. Power do you add some up? Don't follow the crowd, do your thing, and just rock it. Be true to yourself because you all have character, you all have passion, um, and you're all potential leaders. But I would also like to see you all again, so well done for what you've achieved. You've been fairly safely cocooned in, in your sort of bubble of WCGS, and that's great, and it's got loads of benefits with it. But this is your real chance to discover who the re real you is. Non-stop, persist until you succeed. Persist until you succeed. I would also strongly advise if you have a heavy night out, we'd get home, drink a pint of water, <laughs> and have a couple of yeah. have some Eat pizza before yeah, pizza, you go yeah. to bed. Because yeah. yeah. there's nothing worse than a 9 a.m. lecture with a hangover. Anything you do are from today onward, that will be part of you. And you have to represent WCG as anywhere you find yourself. Always make your bed in the morning. Because it's uh, the first sign of uh, the first task of the day is accomplished, and therefore the rest of the time you can accomplish and make. What are you talking changes. about? <laughs> yeah, make your bed. Make yeah, your bed. Make your bed. Always make your bed. 
my role is to support you in your development, but actually I think you guys have been very good in supporting me. You allowed me to grow and to change and sort of went along with it and um, and yeah, so I think actually a lot of this, the, the way I act now and the way I, I teach now is to do with the relationship I've built with this year group. I'm truly gutted that you guys are leaving. I genuinely cannot think what school is going to be like. Uh, it will be a much poorer place in September. It's been such a, a pleasure to be involved with with you guys and um, I'll, I'll certainly be very sad to see you go. Hey guys, it's Basil here. I just wanted to say that it does. It is sad that I can't be with you guys for the last year. But it doesn't matter because I know you guys have great futures ahead of you. No matter whether you're going to university, taking a gap year or even an apprenticeship, it's fine because as long as you work hard and be happy, you'll be where you want to be someday. At the school I go to now, which is Greenshaw, there's a fair number of ex Wally people there. There was this lunch time when we were, I think they were talking about Wellington. But I wasn't really listening because it was lunch and I had a nice chicken sandwich. But anyways, like, there was one part of the conversation and someone just said, the thing that I missed the most about Wellington was the people. And I just agreed with them so much because you guys have just been great. You've had a really positive impact on our lives. And I hope that everyone does really well in the A2s, gets the grades they deserve, and enjoy their summer holiday. I love you guys. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place See you in a better place Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began you know, we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it Watch your way and the vibe is feeling strong It was small, turned to a friendship A friendship turned to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first Then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own When that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach So remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family When family's all that we got Everything I would do You were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last so ride let the light guide your way Yeah Hold every memory as you go And every road you take Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way 
from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you.